Hi, hi, my name is Maria, and this video is on Friday about trading situations that were okay, that were okay, that were good. And of course, I would like to mention some new, some trading ideas that should be in your checklist uh, until you finish this week. Uh, well, if you watch this video on weekend, it's okay. Just be careful with the, with the moment when market opens and you can see some gaps. Gaps is a difference between closed price of one candle and open price of other candle. So the gap is something that um, may cause you uh, less money that you want to see. And okay, now we go through different instruments uh, because there are some news from Japan about Sinza Abe who will quit his uh, job. Uh, there are some news about oil market uh, that uh, the storm is not that bad for oil market and maybe price will go down further. So we go through uh, different currencies, oil market, gold and indexes um, shortly in the end of this week and more um, from the point of view of forecasts I will give this weekend. For Trading Club Pro, my congratulations. This was a good week and I hope you finish it with profits and you will continue to work next week also with profits really carefully. So now we go to now we go to charts. I would like to start with the euro dollar as usual. What what's going on here with the euro dollar? Uh, Below the video, you can see um, in the right corner of the Telegram channel, MariaFrox.com. You are really welcome to join my Telegram channel because there sometimes I follow my ideas from Trading Club Pro and also I publish uh, some news there in Telegram channel. So you are welcome to leave it open and not cool, well, not uh, muted because uh, I don't send spam. So I don't send a lot of messages. Uh, there are only some that I think will be useful and uh, they are rare to Trading Club Pro. By the way, I also don't send uh, a lot of messages. I do send them on time and when I see that it's okay to uh, follow this technical picture. So about the euro dollar, my congratulations price reached level 1.19 and now it's been uh, near the level of resistance, but there is no sell signal right now. This candle that goes down. This is only a reaction on good level of resistance. Reaction. Market has to react at some levels. And uh, you, you can see level of resistance in the end of July. This is the beginning of August. This is the middle part of August. And also you can see right now in the end of August also price comes to this level 1.19. I would like to remind you that here is the level 1.2080 and if they break 119 area you have to buy within a uh, target 1.2080 something like that so in the end of this week for trading club pro i will give trading ideas and forecasts what we do now uh, so here for your dollar yes this is a good moment and uh, i did send a message to telegram channel that we have to buy your dollar up to 119 uh, so this is a good moment uh, to fix your profit, but not not open new positions right now. I don't support new positions. Uh, what I usually say uh, that we have some uh, market reaction on a level, and after we see the break of previous tendency, we can open um, we can open contra deal. Uh, for example, like this, you can see upgoing tendency. And they break it, so you open short positions. But here, right now, there is no upgoing tendency. It's not beautiful and it's technically ugly, I would say. So I really don't like this level of resistance and I'm not going to open short positions right now. So uh, I, I, I want to remind you about this level of resistance and that we have one more level of resistance. Uh, so be careful selling euro. And also, guys, I would like to say that this YouTube channel is really young and I'm doing my best. I'm trying to uh, fill it with uh, information that will be useful for you as a trader and you're really welcome to spread it. So just copy paste and uh, like leave it on your uh, Facebook to, uh, page and so on. So if traders see it useful, I will be really glad to see new traders here in uh, contacts and in, um, in comments so they will be as um, 
uh, as subscribers and of course as co commenters so people who say what they do for trading as well uh, because in my Russian YouTube channel I have a lot of professionals who share ideas who share information and here I just started and um, I see a lot of people who want to know market who, who who tries to understand what's going on I hope day by day maybe month by month but I find people who trade already and um, they will share their ideas as well so that's something that I want to do here and people who are new will uh, will see that there are a lot of opinions like mine and will be more powerful to trade you know <laughs> so yeah let's go to Great Britain Pound my congratulations yesterday to Trading Club Pro I sent an idea to buy above 132 with the target up to 135 actually and right now you can see that price is touching level 133 but this there is no sell signal and that's something that i did send to my russian trading club pro right now so i'm going to send the same to trading club pro uh english speaking but i know that people now don't trade because mostly there are people who right now don't trade because they sleep so yeah uh, this level of resistance 133 this is not a level to sell actually and there is more to go if they break 132 area they're okay to go up to 135 so be careful to sell right now because there is no sell signal and uh, in the end of friday this is not okay to trade in the end of friday this is okay to leave your open positions if you're sure that this is a long-term idea or a middle-term idea but if you trade intraday you finish uh, when uh, when it comes to some technical supports or resistance and you stop you stop and you don't trade in the end of friday so uh, one more time i do show you the tendency line that is like a resistance but if price is touching this tendency it, this is not a signal to sell right now this is not a signal to fix your profit why because this is not a moment technically to sell and they easily can well as i told you for euro this is a reaction to level just a reaction like you know you, you know, throw a ball uh, to the wall and it jumps from the wall and from the second time for example it, it 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 can jump one more time but it doesn't have to it doesn't have to go far 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 away it this is just a reaction you know just a reaction and they can break it easily really they can go further there is no sell signal so be careful with open short positions for my trading club pro also i do send information that on monday if they give us a correction if we gotta follow this level 132.30 so if we'll be lucky on monday to see sell signal and we'll get a sell signal this will be a target to 130.30 but there is no sell signal right now for japanese yen uh, no matter what they say about them Abe, I don't think this is a good moment to trade this currency pair. Japanese yen, with the, you know, we see United States dollar or Great Britain pound, whatever. I don't trade it right now and I'm going to wait for more signals because they can stay in a range and people who think that this is a moment to buy Japanese yen or sell, they will try to fight for, uh, for, for their deals and price will stay in a range. There is no one particular idea to sell or to buy. So please do not go to these deals right now this is not safe actually uh, and the, uh, well the same with the gold if we go to gold right now you can see that there is no sell or buy signal it's staying in a range so same with the Japanese yen there is no good signal so uh, my idea is not to touch this currency pair and not to touch gold as well for a Swiss franc I'm gonna follow an idea about level 0 0.9050 and 0 0.9050 if they stay under this area and they test it as a resistance after that it will be okay to sell but in the end of this week uh, for my trading club pro and trading club and here on youtube maybe for swiss franc i will give um, a new outlook so if i decide that this is a trading moment uh, i think i will give you a trading idea but for now i don't trade it as well there is no trading signal so it's more safe to stay away from that. For Australian dollar, I told you about level 0.72, that this is a good area to sell when they give you sell signal. This is a really strong, good area. And they did not give me sell signal. 
I told you many times that there is still no sell signal, no sell signal. And now here is a good buy signal. So you are welcome to go further to 0.76. And for now, you can check right now, like this. For now, upgain tendency will continue going to 0.7570 or 76 area. There is no sell signal. So if you sell, uh, uh, you, you will lose money and uh, there is no sell signal uh, as I see. For New Zealand dollar, my great congratulations to all my traders in Trading Club Pro because there was a good buy signal and I'm glad we used it because, well, okay, last week and in the end of um, last week I was um, uh, really ready to sell. Why? Because there was a good picture for short positions after that. They show me this area like they can't go through it and uh, they stopped near this level of uh, support so from here they went up and when they broke this is your 6620 area uh, in this moment on Thursday I said to my trading club pro that this is the moment to buy with the target 06730 area why because that is something that shows us our Fibonacci extension idea look this is the Fibonacci extension area uh, as a target and I told you that we have video in Trading Club and Trading Club Pro, we have video, uh, educational one about Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci fan and Fibonacci you know, levels, which you can go and watch. Um, by the way, Trading Club is open for you only for $5 a month, so you get twice a week video and also you get uh, some educational videos and you get research that I think are useful. So yeah, for New Zealand dollar, this is a good target, my congratulations, but there is no sell signal right now. Be ready to listen to an information that there is no sell signal. So I don't support your ideas to sell right now. And I would like you to leave your uh, long positions because price may go up to 0.69 and new entry points, new trading ideas. I will open for you later this week in trading club. Well, about Canadian dollar, uh, we discussed with you level 128.60 and this is still the target to, for this currency pair. So uh, also my congratulations to Trading Club because we had this entry point, really good one. This one, 131.40 and this is still a moment to go down. Uh, well, uh, what, I, what, what I think we should go through is uh, Brent oil. Look here, Brent oil above 45.50 is still good to go up because this was a good level of resistance and good level of support. But this is the end of Friday, end of trading week. And my idea is that it's more safe to enter market above area 46, above this area. And from Monday, not today, but from Monday. So uh, if we go to gold one more time, I would like to show you that there is no trend for this instrument. Market is still in the range and there is no good sell or buy signal. And I quit this instrument for this week. Also, I don't touch um, silver. So there is nothing that I think will be really useful to trade and it's easier to lose money here than to earn. That is something that you have to remember. No matter who tells you that I trade and I do get a good idea on that, I'm trying to show you technical picture, technical reason, reason to enter market. If I don't see technical reason to enter market, I don't enter market. And that's something that I want you to do, to sit with your money until you don't see a good reason to enter market and to earn those money. That is something that I just showed you with the New Zealand dollar. When we have trade an idea, we go into market and we trade. It's the same with the Canadian dollar or Euro dollar or Great Britain pound. When I have trade an idea, I do enter market. If I don't have trade an idea, we just sit and watch it. Maybe for a day, for months, or whatever. But until you don't get signal, you don't enter market. So now we go to now we go to another terminal and I want to show you S and P five hundred. And also, uh, no, that's not right. That's the right picture. S&P 500 and the main idea that price is still being in an upgoing tendency and there is no sell signal yet. Uh, but price reached our target. 3,490 is our target and price reached it. So there might be a reaction on this level and we shouldn't 
uh, skip an idea that market may give a reaction. So please close your long positions and we'll open you one from Monday. Uh, about Dow Jones, same picture, there is no good sell signal. Price is still going up. And technically, there is a level of resistance, 28,760. So maybe in the end of Friday, we should just quit it because this is the end of August and market may give us some surprises. But if they go above 28,700, they will go to 29,500. About the NASDAQ, well, this, there are still there is still level to go 12,180, but you can see that price is sitting in a range. And while there are being above 11,900, you are okay to enter market with long positions. So about DAX, I think we should leave this instrument until next week and there is no good trading signal. Uh, European indexes, I think this is not something that we should touch right now. And if you are still in profit from my trading idea, from last week, uh, you are welcome to close your profit and leave this instrument until they don't give us uh, a good technical reason to enter market again. So I think this is it. If you have any questions about the Bitcoin, about uh, uh, about some indexes or instruments like currency pairs, maybe your Australian dollar and so on, you are welcome to ask any questions under the video. And of course, I would like to remind you about the Trading Club and Trading Club Pro. There is something that you can learn from there. There is something that you can uh, see as um, a useful, uh, useful, well, maybe idea for you, well, you know, maybe some useful information. Trading ideas there are really good and they are shared. So you get in Trading Club and Trading Club Pro entry point, stop loss and target, which you can use if you don't understand how to enter market, you please ask under the video and I will uh, write you what is your what is your step to enter the market. Okay, um, I would like to remind you one more time that this YouTube channel is for traders who want to improve their skills. Uh, this is a, a video for people who do trade or want to start trading and don't know what to begin with. I can help you to understand technical opportunities and entry points. That is something that I'm here to. Uh, so I want to just like support you with an ideas and with something that I do understand too, and I hope you will understand market much better after my videos. I wish us profits and please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are still not subscribed and you are welcome to enter and to join my uh, trading club. Thank you very much. Thumbs up. And of course, press the bell so you don't miss my next video. See you later. Bye-bye.